A very good uh, good afternoon to all the students of class 10th D. Uh, we had completed the poem, The Tale of Custard the Dragon on Thursday. Fine. So today uh, we will be discussing literary devices because this is the poem, uh, very lengthy poem it is. Actually, it is a ballad written in the form of a story. A story is there in this poem that it is known as ballad. So in this ballad, uh, they have used multiple poetic devices, multiple literary devices. Fine. If I use the word literary devices or poetic devices, one and same thing. So uh, as you can see, I will discuss this later on. Uh, let's start from the easy ones. This you have done already. Uh, I guess all the devices are discussed in detail, but even then, uh, I don't want to take any chance. I will be discussing then, uh, you can say the meanings in detail and then you will tell me in which stanza which poetic device is used okay so you have to find it out so keep your books and notebooks ready with you repetition is <clears throat> when words are repeated in the stanzas in between anywhere okay sometimes a word is used in the first stanza and second or sometimes the same stanza one to two or two times or three times or four times a word is repeated fine when words are repeated or phrases are repeated then we call it device of repetition, clear? Then we have anaphora. Fine, recently in the last poem also we have done this anaphora. Uh, when a repeated use of word is there in the consecutive line. So words repeated at beginning, fine in consecutive lines. So please note down. Consecutive lines means next line only. So then we call it anaphora. When words are repeated at beginning in consecutive lines. Clear? Repetition is something else. When words are repeated in between the stanza somewhere. It's never like in the beginning always. But uh, when words are repeated at the beginning in the consecutive lines, then it is called anaphora. Then it will not be considered repetition. Make sure. Fine. Then we have third poetic device that is refrain. Please keep on noting side by side. When, you know, a repetition of a sentence. You these days you might have seen, uh, you know, uh, because you people, youth of our country, you might have seen these days a lot of songs are there and stupid songs are there. And they, you know, uh, just choose one pet line in the song and they keep on repeating. So if you listen to the song, there are no actually lyrics. No lyrics in the song, but they have just one pet line which is being repeated. So that most of the people, you know, gets addicted to that line. So it's famous karne ka tarika hai ye actually. So then they use a particular one uh, slogan line and n number of times they repeat it. So refrain is repetition of a sentence. Clear? Puri line jab repeat hoti hai, that is known as refrain. Is that clear to you all side by side? Respond to me. So that I can continue. Koi doubt leke aage nahi jana hai humne. Clear? The Sisha Preet koi clear hua hai or Navya ko baaki uh, rest of the, them are not there. So when I ask you, please respond accordingly. Okay? So repetition of a sentence is refrain. Agar aapka concept clear nahi hua, then you keep on sitting and asking others then. Hai na exam mein. So please have uh, confidence on yourself. Aapko bhi aata hai karna. Now this fourth thing you have not heard earlier. Poetic license. What is poetic license? Poetic license is not a poetic device considered. You can say this is a, you know that to drive the car and vehicle, you need a license. So in this poetic license, kya hota hai? that a poet has the right to mold the structure of the words and phrases as per the impact he wants to create in the poetry. You have seen that the sentence structure is like subject, normal structure in English. 
सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट फाइन समाइम वो उसको उल्टा भी कर देते हैं हम कहते हैं कि ही वॉन्टेड टू गो देयर फाइन ही देयर वॉन्टेड टू गो ही देयर समथिंग लाइक दैट जस्ट टू राइम इट दे चेंज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड डिड द थ्रो फाइन मीन्स आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू वन एग्जाम्पल जैसे उसने गो और थ्रो को राइम करना था तो दैट्स वाई ही चेंज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज उसने सब्जेक्ट वर्ब ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं यूज किया ऑब्जेक्ट आगे कर दिया या सब्जेक्ट पीछे कर दिया अकॉर्डिंगली तो पोएट हैज द पोइटिक लाइसेंस टू मोल्ड द प्रॉपर यू कैन से लैंग्वेज जैसे इसमें कहा पे यूज हुआ है इन दिस पोएम टेल ऑफ कस्टर्ड द ड्रैगन रियली अर ट्रूलियो देर आर नो सच वर्ड लाइक रियली अर ट्रूलियो देर आर नो वर्ड बट दिस इज द पोइटिक लाइसेंस क्लियर so just to you can say uh, the spellings have been changed to create a musical effect when spellings or structure are changed hum waise agar hum english likhne mein aise likhenge to everybody will say this is wrong but if it is in poetry uh, just to rhyme the words so to just to create the musical impact When poet does it, ठीक है स्पेलिंग्स के साथ कुछ डिस्टॉर्टमेंट करता है और स्ट्रक्चर के साथ देन दैट इज नोन एज पोइटिक लाइसेंस इज दैट क्लियर टू यू ऑल वॉट इज पोइटिक लाइसेंस नाउ चेंजेस मेड बाय द पोएट टू क्रिएट सम इम्पैक्ट ओके फाइन ऑक्सीमर पहले सारे कर लीजिए आफ्टर दैट फाइन use of two words or more words with opposite meaning please keep on noting down this is going to help you in each and every poem this is not just one poem the voices are there in each and every poem so please make sure use of words with opposite meaning is known as oxymoron theek hai जैसे कि इसमें यूज हुआ है पेट ड्रैगन पेट ड्रैगन ड्रैगन इज नॉट एन पेट एनिमल इट्स नॉट अ पेट एनिमल बट पेट ड्रैगन वर्ड जो यूज हुए हैं फाइन ही इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड पेट एनिमल बट पेट ड्रैगन वर्ड यूज हुए हैं आपकी पोएम में सो दैट इज एग्जांपल ऑफ ऑक्सीमरन यूज ऑफ वर्ड्स विद ऑपोजिट मीनिंग विच डू नॉट दे के नॉट को इन जाई टूगेदर बट दे आर बींग यूज so and then we have simile simile and metaphor everybody of you i guess know but even then uh, who will tell me simile and metaphor alliteration bhi pata hai aapko ye to sab mein use hua hai commonly who will tell me jaldi se batao raise your hand i will unmute you do participate beta be quick enough in giving responses 10th d bahut zyada casual responses hain aapki class ke अभी आई आस्क यू नो वन क्वेश्चन अबाउट द नेम्स ऑफ द मूवीज एंड सॉन्ग्स फटाफट से आप नेटफ्लिक्स सीरीज एंड ऑल देन यू विल कीप ऑन गिविंग मी द आंसर्स हां जी दक्षिता टेल मी व्हाट इज सिमिली मैम व्हेन लाइक और एज इज यूज्ड like or as comparison is made comparison made with comparison by using is, like or as uh, yes very good and what is uh, metaphor ma'am uh, it uh, com comparison is uh, made without using like or as yes direct comparison clear when direct comparison is made uh, that is known as a metaphor when comparison is made by using as or like if i say he is like lion he is like she is like a rose to wo simile if i say he she is rose she is as beautiful as rose then simile she is rose metaphor he is lion metaphor he is like a lion simile he is as lion 
सिमिली तो जब एज और लाइक यूज होगा तो सिमिली है कंपेरिजन करने के लिए इफ विदाउट लाइक और एज डायरेक्ट कंपेरिजन है दैट इज मेटाफोर फाइन नो व्हाट इज एलिट्रेशन रेपिटेशन ऑफ द कंसोनेंट साउंड्स राइट डाउन कंसोनेंट साउंड्स आपको पता है कंसोनेंट्स क्या होते हैं A E I O U को छोड़ के रेस्ट ऑफ द लेटर्स ट्वेंटी वन लेटर्स सो वेन रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड इज देयर फाइन एलिट्रेशन शी कॉल्ड हिम कस्टर्ड द कॉवर्ड शी she called him custard the coward custard c coward c fine called ka bhi c to so when c consonant sound is being repeated wo alliteration ki example ho jayegi everybody please tell me is it clear so that i can move it further yahan tak sabko clear hai beta yes assonance repetition of uh consonants of rhyming wohi ho jayega aapka yahan se clear assonance is repetition of vowel sound jaise aapne abhi alliteration mein kara hai na actually jo alliteration hai na it has two categories assonance एंड कॉन्सोनेस जो भी मैंने रिमूव किया यहां से क्लियर वैसे बेसिकली एलिट्रेशन इज रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेट साउंड बट अगर इसकी दो कैटेगरीज होती है असोनेस मीन रेपिटेशन ऑफ वॉल साउंड कॉन्सोनेस मीन रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेट साउंड ठीक है जिसमें अभी हमने करा है कस्टर्ड दी कॉल्ड हर कस्टर्ड द कॉवर्ड तो सी साउंड रिपीटेड हो तो वो कॉन्सोनेस की भी एग्जाम्पल है एंड एलिट्रेशन भी बोलेंगे तो दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट But assonance means repetition of vowel sounds. Repetition of vowel sounds. A E I O U हमारे vowels होते हैं उसकी अगर repetition होगी तो assonance. Clear? Belinda was as brave barrel full of beers. इसमें A E A E sound बार बार repeat हुई है. clear <coughs> that's mean assonance now allusion aapne pehle nahi kara hai so please understand it clearly allusion is uh, we are going to do it for the first time allusion is when there is a reference to some other person in the story you are doing one thing but you are referring to some other place or story or person उसका रेफरेंस बीच में जैसे उन्होंने बीच में परसिवल किंग की बात की है फाइन दैट देर वॉज वन किंग परसिवल सो दिस इज अल्यूजन रेफरेंस टू द क्लियर व्हेन अ रेफरेंस इज गिवन टू सम अदर करेक्टर दैट इज नोन एज अल्यूजन रेफरेंस टू एनी अदर पर्सन और प्लेस राइट डाउन रेफरेंस to some other person or place please note down if you are person or place ki reference ho then that is called as allusion a l l u s i o n isme percival knight ki baat ki gayi hai p e r c i v a l percival king ki baat hui thi so that is the example of only once we have uh, given the allusion onomatopoeia usage of sound words when when the actual word and the sound it produces like growling snoring find such kind of words which are actually uh, the sound produced by that word and the the way we pronounce that word are same if i say uh uh 
बीज बज बीज जो बीज होती है वो बज और सच में भी उनकी आवाज बज जैसी आती है वेन दे स्पीक फाइन सो दीज वर्ड्स विच एक्चुअली यस तानिया स्नेक हिस the word hiss and the real sound it produces that is same that is known as onomatopoeia is that clear to everyone kuch mushkil nahi hai yes uh, dog woof yes bism very good dog woof that is the example of onomatopoeia clear usage of sound words to tell the actual word imagery imagery is when such words are used which you know create an image in the mind by using the words only unhone yahan pe pirate ka jo description diya tha in your poem you might have seen one eye is covered and one wooden leg and uh, carcass in the mouth and uh, you know pistols in the both hands we start imagining the character तो हमारी इमेज बन जाती है माइंड में सच वर्ड्स व्हेन वी यूज्ड टू क्रिएट एन इमेज दैट इज कॉल्ड इमेजरी फाइन ट्रांसफर्ड एपीथेट प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट द लास्ट एंड द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट वन ट्रांसफर्ड एपीथेट व्हाट इज ट्रांसफर्ड एपीथेट इट डिस्क्राइब्स अ पर्सन प्लेस ऑब्जेक्ट बाय रिप्लेसिंग इट विद एडजेक्टिव Right? It describes a person, place, object by replacing it with adjective. So, such words which describe other person or place or object by using adjective. So, we describe. You can say a noun is described while using an adjective. That is known as transfer. Means we transfer the quality or uh, to that noun. If we are doing it, then you will be more clear. This example. Okay, transfer epithet key. when it describes a person by replacing it with an adjective that is known as transfer that means is it clear to you all with a please tell me jaldi se because i need to share the screen now yes chahat i will repeat it okay uh, ye example se samajh mein aayega so if it is not clear to you definitely i am going to repeat it for you okay so uh, let me share the screen here uh इसमें एग्जाम्पल थी एक इस पोएम में लेट मी शो यू दैट ट्रांसफर एपिथ आई विल रिपीट अगेन आपकी पोएम में यूज हुआ था टेरीफाइड येल्प फाइन येल्प मीन्स वेन ही क्राइड फॉर हेल्प अब हेल्प को उन्होंने डिस्क्राइब करने के लिए एक एडजेक्टिव लगा दिया टेरीफाइड येल्प Fine. Terrified Yelp word used was that. Yes, Shahid. So it means they used some other adjective to describe that sound. उन्होंने help word को describe करने के लिए terrified word use कर लिया. So that is the example of transferred epithet. Okay. चलिए. Let me discuss stanza wise. Now you will tell me. जल्दी जल्दी बच्चे आपने बताना है. Okay, tell me which poetic devices is used in the first stanza. I describe each and everything to you. Now you tell me which poetic device is used in the very first stanza. Raise your hand. Shall we say? This poem ki beta rhyme scheme jo hai wo A A B B hai. So please note down on the book itself A A B B small A A B B. Aise likhoge clear? Small A A B B. Alag karke nahi likhte. So rhyme scheme is A A B B. In two out the poem they have used same this ink, blink, mustard, custard. हाउस माउस वेगन ड्रेगन ए ए बी बी क्लियर सेम साउंड है हाउस माउस ए ए दे दिया डिफरेंट साउंड इज वेगन बी ड्रेगन बी तो सेम है तो सेम कैटेगरी बी बी सो ए ए बी बी इज द राइम स्कीम अगर राइम स्कीम बोले तो राइम वर्ड्स पूछे जाए आपसे तो राइमिंग वर्ड्स कौन से है हाउस माउस फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ राइमिंग वर्ड सेकेंड सेट ऑफ राइमिंग वर्ड्स वेगन dragon okay so there is difference between words and scheme so don't intermix it hum ji raise your hands koi bachcha hand raise nahi kar raha tell me which poetic device is used in the first stanza yes bism imagery is used imagery is used where 
in the first line and in the, uh, and when the poet is describing the appearance of his pets yes or you can mute yourself imagery is used repetition dikh rahi hai kisi ko little little so this word is not repeated in the beginning fine so this is little little beech beech mein use hua kahi pe this is the poetic device of repetition underline karke likh lijiye now i told you pet dragon dragon can never be pet fine so this is the example of oxymoron oxymoron is the example oh sorry pet dragon is the example of oxymoron dragons are never considered pet animals but here they are using it okay uh then see what is the example of this ye ye kya hai and and han ji tanya kya hai ye jaldi jaldi participate karna hai time nahi waste karna hai han ji tanya tell me repetition no repetition to ye hai maine abhi bataya little little ध्यान से नहीं सुनते हो वेन इन बिटवीन वर्ड यूज होगा तो वो रेपिटेशन है वेन बिगिनिंग में टू कंजेटिव लाइन हाँ जी दक्षिता वॉन्ट्स टू टेल एनाफोरा यस बेटा बी बी स्मार्ट इन ओके तानिया ध्यान से सुन रहे ये छोटी सी गलती हो गई तो आंसर रॉन्ग लिटल लिटल इज रेपिटेशन बट इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द लाइन वेन कंजेटिव लाइन में रिपीट होता है कोई वर्ड दैट इज एनाफोरा and uh, and a uh, ye example hai uski or realio trulio this is the example of poetic license i was talking about to usne just musical impact create karne ke liye aise words nahi hote hain but unhone distort kar diya just for the sake of creating musical impact so this is the example of poetic license theek hai chaliye next stanza second stanza प्लीज कीप योर पेंसिल्स एंड पेंस इन योर हैंड एंड बुक ऑल्सो साइड बाय साइड लिखते जाओ बस सेकेंड स्टैंड इन दिस विच पोइटिक डिवाइस इज यूज एज एज मस्टर्ड एज अब ये बताओ क्या है ये मैंने हाईलाइट भी कर दिया यू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ दिस पोइटिक डिवाइस विषम को आता है आंसर बाकी कहाँ पे है नव्या आल्सो नोज द आंसर यस नव्या यस दिस इज एग्जांपल ऑफ सिमिली आपकी आवाज बहुत कम आ रही है सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ सिमिली प्लीज अंडरलाइन दिस थिंग देन अभी मैंने आपको uh, साथ में ही बताया था एक एग्जाम्पल दिया था दैट यू हैव मिस्ड इट Which poetic device is used in the highlighted part? I have highlighted one part. Coward, she called him custard. This is the example of dash. Is the example a? Jaldi se be quick. Coward, she called him custard. Fata fata se bata. Yes, Tanya. Alliteration. Yes, alliteration. Consonant sound is repeated. This is alliteration. What else? Is may be enough for a use. Hua hai. Abhi jo humne kar hai. And the little, and the little. Beginning me repetition hui hai. In the beginning lines, consecutive lines. Ek saath lines ho aur beginning me ho. And the little. And next line may be and the little. This is the example of enough for a. Yeah, so it's may simile, alliteration, anaphora, and uh, uh, repetition also. Fine, little little words again repeated. Clear? Stanza number three and four. इक अठे करते हैं चलिए पहले stanza number three में देखिए जल्दी से uh, which poetic device is used. Only two students are raising hand. बाकी के तो बस ऐसे ही बैठे हाँ जी दक्षिता 
मैम माउथ लाइक अ फायर प्लेस सिमिली इज यूज यस वेरी गुड तानिया और कुछ एनीथिंग एल्स व्हाट अबाउट अदर अदर स्टूडेंट्स बेटा डू पार्टिसिपेट इन थर्ड स्टेंजा ये सिमिली इज यूज्ड एंड मेटाफर वेर इज मेटाफर ये सरायना chimney for nose and the daggers on the stoles yes chimney for a nose daggers on stoles metaphor use hua yahan pe chimney for a nose fine so this is the example of metaphor like it means they are trying to say the nose is like chimney fine but uh, daggers on his toes nahi hoga metaphor because they have used on his toes fine for a nose chimney for a nose so this is a metaphor okay a refrain is also used again and a really a truly you और रेफरेन बेटा जो सेंटेंस रिपीट होता है ना जैसे मैंने आपको अभी बताया था रेफरेन आपको थ्रू आउट देखना पड़ता है इट्स नॉट लाइक इन वन स्टेंजा रेलियो ट्रूलियो यहाँ भी यूज हुआ है रेलियो ट्रूलियो यहाँ भी यूज हुआ है वेन अंटेंस और फ्रेज इज कम्प्लीटली यूज थ्रू आउट द पोएम दैट इज रेफरेन ऑल्सो क्लियर चलिए फोर्थ स्टेंजा स्टेंजा नंबर फोर्थ विच पोइटिक डिवाइस इज यूज एलिट्रेशन इज यूज हेयर वेरी इजी इट इज as brave as a barrel full of beers fine so they have compared belinda's bravery with this this is simile clear and in the same line isi line mein as brave as a barrel full of beers you can see a sound a a a, a means a sonens Assonance is used here as well. Simile भी है, assonance भी है. A S S O N A N C. Clear? अभी use की थी हमने जो. So stanza number five. जल्दी से बेटा please keep on marking. Belinda tickled him. She tickled him. And हमने कर ली हुई ये poem. Those who have joined today, I'm not going to repeat for you. This is the literary devices we are doing. Yes. Refrain is there at the Rilio Trulio. It is repeated. Refrain is there again. Now tell me new device. जो भी हमने करी थी. Which device is used here? Which I have highlighted. Which device is used here? Raise your hands. Archie, don't you know? और किसी को नहीं पता लगा ओनली तानिया एंड दक्षिता आर रेजिंग हैंड्स रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट नो द आंसर्स अभी मैंने बताया था व्हेन सम रेफरेंस इज गिवन टू अ पर्सन और प्लेस यस रायना इल्यूजन सो दिस इज यस इल्यूजन इज करेक्ट बेटा इल्यूजन इज व्हेन रेफरेंस इज गिवन correct answer what else personification is also used ink blink mustard actually these are the names of the animals animals have been personified to is puri poem mein personification bhi use hui hai i have not written on the board i forgot that one personification is when human qualities are given to animals or objects or inanimate things fine to so, usko hum personification keh dete hain ink blink mustard they are also example of personification clear then repetition use of uh, word tickled him tickled him This is the example of repetition also. Clear? चलिए next stanza.
in this sweater they have used uh, which poetic device is used well ho chuki hai and we are still left with our uh, so you your homework is uh, to uh, find out the poetic devices fine in the rest of the poem and question answers are still left that we will discuss on monday okay beta and please do submit your notebooks as well as posters well in time if you really want your assessments get your notebooks to check the side by side so i will be putting up the names of defaulters very soon.